all right welcome everybody into this video we are going to make this awesome flyer design in canva okay it's very easy to do so without wasting much of our time let's dive right into it we are using the instagram portrait size 3000 by 3000 before we begin i just want to navigate the original design and i want to show you something there's sometimes when doing design and just making tutorial sometimes you want to like think oh designers just make this thing once okay this is this is the final result of the design but if you look down here you can see some variation okay this this is the first trial okay this this is me just showing you how it all started then as i was making this i had to duplicate another one because i came to a point and i wanted to make something different okay in those moments always make a new page and just um duplicate your page your current page like this first one i duplicated this page and i started working on this on this page okay then it came to a point i needed to add something i duplicated this page and i started working on this new design the same design just a duplicate of it and it came to a point i duplicated again and it, i made these changes i duplicated again and i made these changes i duplicated again and i came to this point i duplicated again finally before coming to this point so whenever you're designing always make a copy as you go along because sometimes you might just be making little progresses that you may not really observe in the beginning of your design but as you begin to just make changes or try to improve the design over and over again you just see that you keep seeing your changes at the end of the day you just come to a particular design you're like okay this one is good enough okay so with that further ado let's begin the tutorial okay everything you need i've been provided in the description so that you can download and practice along okay all right first up we're going to come with a lady and we're just going to position her somewhere here so next we're going to bring the other image of this lady and we're just going to position her here and let's go to layer structure come to the layer and just drag this one behind then let's come back let's go to uh upload and we're going to bring in this one okay then this one we're going to search for frame we'll go to element search for frame and hit the enter key and just scroll until you come to frame and we're going to use the circle okay we're going to use this one so while it's here we're going to drag our image and drag it into the circle and to resize we're going to double click and we're going to zoom in and zoom our image so that it fills the circle and okay and just click on done so we're going to scale this one down and in our download folder we have this shadow and we're just going to place it be careful when you're placing an image around a frame because it might just want to replace it okay so i'm just going to try as much as i can to be careful here and just scale it up and just make sure it's like this okay we're going to bring in a circle um circle Let's cancel this. I'm going to bring in the circle. Then we're going to change the color to one of these. Okay. Okay. We're going to change it to this. Then we're going to scale it and go to the position, go to the layer structure, and send this one to the back. Okay. And just scale it down. Let's zoom in and position it in a way that it will fill it. I'm noticing that our design is having this cut here, so let's double click and uh, let's find a way to make sure it fits in. Okay, this is not the one I want to scale. Okay, we're just gonna push this one to the side and come here, double click. And now we can just try to make sure we have that edge not showing. Okay, let's click done. Okay, let's scale it down a bit. Then let's drag this one back. It's replacing, so be careful. And let's just scale this one. Okay, let's go to position. Now we're going to select all of these and we're going to group them. Okay, just click on group and let's click on group and we can position this one somewhere here. Okay. But before we do that, I think I'm going to ungroup this because I, I, I don't want this extra edge that I'm seeing here. I think this is on the shadow. They just crop out these extras, okay? So that it doesn't take a lot of space, okay? So let's select all this. Let's select all this and let's group so we can position it somewhere here, okay? 
and we're gonna bring this one to the front okay okay now we have this okay for this lady we're gonna make a duplicate of her bring her here and we're gonna make her big and we're gonna go to edit and we're gonna go to blow and we're just gonna blow her real much okay and we'll go back and we're gonna take down the opacity because we want to use her as the background okay something like this okay okay for the rest things i think we should go to uh upload and let's just bring this other element okay is sometimes or you can just put on your design to make it look catchy okay let's make a duplicate uh let's make a duplicate okay for the colors we're going to change them let's come here and let's go to edit and we're going to come to the color here select this color and we're going to change it to something like orange okay or purple okay purple okay and i think this is okay and we're going to copy this layer style and we're going to paste it on this and on this one Okay, let's leave this one red. Okay, and we have this circle behind and the circle behind here. So we're gonna make a circle. I think the circle we've already made it before on this one, but let's do another one. Um, let's come to circle here, come to color, then come to this one, and we're just gonna scale it. So we're gonna position this one here. We're gonna make a copy and position this one here. Okay, let's go to the layer structure and we're going to select both of them and push them to the back okay uh, push them to the back back let's see okay let's push this one to the side first we'll bring it back so let's just work with this okay let's slice off this edge so that we can pick on this and we have this one let me check our original design and i think i kind of flipped that okay let's see Okay, on this one, let's just see, let's cut off this part too. Okay, let's push out to the side. So on this particular circle, we're going to flip the, the gradient. Okay, let's put this one to the side. And let's bring her back. Then for this one, we're going to just, we're going to leave it like that. Okay, but I think this is not the actual gradient. Let me go and check. I'm beginning to notice that probably is this one. Or this one okay yeah i think it's this one so let's position this one here and for this one we can bring her back now okay then i think this one is not big enough now you can see that this edge is showing here i think that's the reason why in the design i kind of position this one so that i can block that part okay since i can't use something else to fade it i can actually go that direction but that's not what i'm going for okay so let me bring this one back into the picture and let me just slice off this part let me see if i can take this one down okay um i'm gonna bring this one okay maybe i will just have to like i think this one was real big and i think this one is not big enough compared to the original one let me see all right so i think we are okay like this okay the next thing we're going to do then we're going to bring in our text and that's that's pretty much it okay i'm noticing that there is one element that i've not brought in let me see i think it's this one okay this one here this one so we're gonna go to edit on this one and we're gonna blow it out because it's too strong okay i think i selected the wrong element okay this one so let's go to blur and let's just blow it out okay and we're just gonna position it somewhere here come to the layer structure and just bring it behind everything else because we want it to be in the background okay and we might even take down the opacity so that you can just be there okay so we have all this now so we're going to start bringing in our text i have our text prepared already so we're just going to come here and select okay Control c and come here and we can just Control v in case you are selecting a text you don't need to bring in a text box to be able to paste it and for our font all right
so let's do this one come here and just decrease the spacing and we're going to make the alignment to the left align and there is a space there just clear it out and this is supposed to be rookie i'm not seeing the y okay so we're just going to position this one here then for the services we're going to type bring it in ctrl c ctrl v and we're gonna bring this one down. Okay, let's bring this one down and make this one left aligned, make it a bullet point. And we're gonna change the font here to poppins. I know some of you must have been complaining already like does that mean it's only poppins that he uses well i love poppins you can go find your font and use yours too okay it's a bad habit that very few fonts that just appeals to a designer okay even though he has so many fonts to use okay and all to pick from okay so we have this one contact we're gonna control c control v and let's just position this one here and for the last one we have the number and the instagram handle okay Ctrl V. okay we're gonna make this one bold all right let me let me adjust everything first before i start editing okay so we have all these there for the elements that has to do with the service we're going to bring it in now so we can just cut off the extras and scale it down okay so for our text here we're going to change the color to white okay and we're going to position our text like this then we're going to go to our apps and let's search for icon scout so that we can bring the Instagram and the WhatsApp icon, okay? Instagram. Okay, this one is free. Because if you should search for Instagram handle or WhatsApp icon in the normal search here, the element tab, you're not going to see a good icon. But here on that um, icon scout, under the app, you're going to see nice ones, okay? That you can use, okay? Let me see, let me scale this one down and let's position this. Let's look for WhatsApp. Okay, let's bring this one in and let's scale it down. It's time to zoom in so that we can get things to the appropriate size. Okay, let's come here now. Let's change this phone. It's going to make it big, bold and just drag it in a way okay let's make sure that these things are aligning and one thing with canvas you are dragging there's this smart guy you can see those lines they just help you to get things straight okay and they can really be very handy okay so we're going to bring contact here i think the content i'm going to make it bold too so that it can be obvious that that is contact okay so we're going to make a duplicate of this and for the instagram handle Gonna put it as rookie. I didn't type that out before. Underscore. Um, let me let me see. Rookie beauty. Okay. And let's make this one smaller. And let's remove it from being bold. Select all. Uh, remove it from bold. Okay. So we have all this now set. Okay. Now let's do the main design thing. Okay. I know some person at this point they will be like, oh, I'm done with the design. Okay, this is where you have to really start your design okay this is where you start okay we've done the basic so now let's come to the upload folder we have so many things that i really want to show you here this first one this one looks like light i'm going to bring it here let's come to position setting and let's make sure it's at the top okay most of all these elements that you'll be using from now on make sure that they are at the top so that it can help blend your design with the background so let's try to chop off this edge be careful so that you don't chop off the the corners itself okay so i'm going to position this one here so that it can just help 
fade the text into the background and we're gonna go to upload again let's try to chop off this edge so that it doesn't take much of our design so let's come to upload there is this other one that i used i think is this one and we can position it somewhere here okay for this lady this one here i'm chancellor we're gonna do some basic image editing so we're gonna go to adjust and let's come to the bottom let's just try some things out i think um let's increase the shadows a bit for the highlights let's take it up a bit for the contrast uh i really don't want much contrast maybe i can just leave it down one. then the vibrance then the sharpness oh nice you can see that it's coming to life then there is this box that i placed on that here so we're going to come to um our element tab then come to this one and let's stretch it out stretch it out rather so we're going to come here and just position it somewhere here we're going to make sure it's at the back but before then i think this should be purple okay is that purple enough okay or maybe just make it real purple so we're going to come to the opacity and really bring it down okay something like this let's zoom all the way in then for this roundness we're going to make it a little bit less round okay something like this okay then let's go to the opacity i think i need to take it down a bit more or maybe i should just make this color white because i can't feel the impact okay let me see let me click off okay it's almost visible but now i have to take the opacity up a bit okay because i wanted to have this almost like this glassy effect okay i think we have this here now so we're going to take it to the back so we go to position come to the layer structure here and just drag it all the way to the back okay not really way to the back i just want it uh, maybe above the text okay so for this one let's make it a little bit bigger let's come here and let's make it bold okay and i think this one was all caps something like that i don't know let me go and check okay it wasn't all caps so i can take it from the all caps and let's adjust this mm, okay Okay, this one i think i need to bring down the opacity a bit because it's almost running our design so just do some basic image adjustments here okay then for this one i think um let me let me bring this one a little bit down then i can't select the other one before so let me come here let me look for it okay this one okay because i called it off while i was trying to adjust the layer before okay finally this text this box here we're going to change the color to purple so that we can have um unity in our design so we're going to scroll down where we have the color edits select this and we're just going to drag it until you see the purple color i think this is it so we can even make it really more purplish and just increase it the touch and just bring it in here okay um let me bring it down all right so that brings us to the end of the video i hope you find it helpful if this is your first time please subscribe to my youtube channel if you find the video helpful please hit the like button turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye